Hi guys, it is a cloudy, gloomy, yuck, Florida winter day in hell. Uh, I have found myself in the hell hole of some pit called Sanford, Florida. A little bit outside of Orlando, Florida. Uh, Good Lord, and it is Sunday, January 3rd, 2021, and oh yes, I am Sam Mitchell. This is my little co-pilot, Sancho Panza. You have found yourself the first installment of Collapse Chronicles of 2021. Uh, we have been hiding out at the end of a 20-mile uh, long dirt road in a panther refuge in the big cypress swamp to welcome in 2021 and uh, I am back into global industrial civilization so I can't think of a finer place to bring you my annual broken record predictions for 2021 uh, predictions for 2021 and I think we have a good a prediction as any uh, before I get into the broken record laundry list so what I'm driving down I guess this is one of I think there are seven of these entirely entirely indefensible planet-eating new parkways being uh, bulldozed all over the state of Florida. I think there's seven of these just unbelievable, inexcusable, indefensible environmental boondoggles known as these, uh, they call them parkways, but what they are, they're tollways. Are all of these multi-lane tollways slamming all around Florida, including the this is the Wekiva, I think is the Wakiva Parkway. Uh, there's a hawk trying to find his way through the traffic. There's one of the there's a I'm pretty sure it's seven. So one on the drawing boards is going right through the middle, right splat through the middle of the last remaining Florida Panther stronghold on the planet. Uh, so I am going to predict that you are going to see more and more of these uh, parkway, tollways, whatever you want to call these planet-eating monstrosities ramming across Florida, uh, everywhere else in this country, everywhere else on the planet. Now, I don't think this particular tollway to hell has anything to do with the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, but this is pretty much uh, what the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative looks like. You know, Manga Bay always talking about these new highways, you know, getting rammed across Brazil and Indonesia and uh, everywhere like that. But you don't have to go any farther than the, uh, than the sewer of the state of Florida. Just getting just absolutely gutted by these. So there's a prediction number one. Now, of course, the problem with doing the the collapsitarian predictions for 2021 is that I just made in my final video of 2020, the uh, I, my New Year's resolution is that I was not ever going to mention the C word. Uh, and of course, uh, one of the Alert Tribes members read my New Year's resolution and said, uh, my prediction is that you will not stick to your resolution without mentioning the C word. So it's hard to make predictions, uh, collapsitarian predictions, without mentioning the C word. So we'll just talk about the D word 
before I get into uh, all the other culprits and of course we're talking the distraction the biggest distraction in the history of the human race uh, which will just continue to absolutely dominate uh, the news and the attention of this planet as this planet is being destroyed uh, right in front of our eyes is more in, as the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative and everything else uh, is destroying this planet. The biggest distraction will completely continue to overwhelm the mainstream media. There will be virtually no environmental news reported on the planet uh, in the year 2021. The, the very notion of uh, reporting on the collapse of a planet uh, under the cover of this distraction is absurd. So you can look forward to an entire year of no mention of uh, 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 of this planet eating crap going on as the planet eaters take 100% advantage of, of this bullshit distraction, this cover story to go right on with their business as usual knowing that nobody is going to be reporting on it, paying attention to it, and they're, of course, going to use the distraction to uh, continue to, to eviscerate and gut any environmental laws that uh, are, are going to continue to uh, be assaulted and attacked, uh, you know, under the cover story of, uh, you know, restarting the economy. Uh, in the in the interest of restarting the economy, uh, which you know was collapsed by the powers that be, uh, any sort of environmental regulation and oversight uh, that allows you know just uh, indefensible tragedies like like this useless toll road to hell and nowhere to, uh, to continue uh, and certainly I was just reading that was it the 500 richest I can't remember whether it was the 500 richest people uh, in this country or on this planet have added 1.6 trillion dollars 1.6 trillion dollars to their own pockets whatever divide 1.6 trillion by 500 by millions and millions of, uh, of, of people are unemployed uh, you know why millions of people if not billions are facing starvation uh, the richest 500 people adding 1.6 trillion dollars into their pockets as the the income uh, gap between the rich and poor uh, taking full advantage of this distraction of the single biggest bullshit distraction in human history uh, they will that the 500 richest people are going to uh, probably line their pockets with a lot more than 1.6 trillion dollars uh, again taking full advantage of this distraction the rich will get richer, the poor will get poorer, uh, and as more and more people get more and get poorer and poorer, it take a wild guess what that means for our fellow earthlings. They're going in the stew pot. Uh, 
But anyway, guys, uh, I uh, made a resolution that I was not going to spend another year uh, talking about how the D word, the distraction, is uh, is bringing down this planet and rolling out the red carpet to uh, shit like this, uh, like this uh, toll road to hell and nowhere. Uh, this is absolutely inexcusable. Uh, this toll road uh, to nowhere that I'm driving down. Okay, but now that I've got, uh, now that I've already violated my New Year's resolution on the very first chronicle of the collapse for 2020, just kind of, you know, guys, I usually sit down and write out my top 20 uh, no shit Sherlock predictions for each year but anyone who has ever heard uh, one of my uh, no shit Sherlock predictions for the new year uh, already knows uh, what, what, what I'm going to say because uh, every single uh, prediction the, 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 you know these no brainer predictions uh, you know, Sancho Panza uh, can make these. Um, I mean, uh, where, where, where do you want to start? Uh, you know, it's just the, the it's just business as usual. Uh, we're going to keep seeing record ice melt in Greenland. Uh, the, the 2021 is going to be, if not the warmest year. Uh, on record since uh, records began, it's certainly going to be absolutely going to be in the in the top three, uh, if not uh, the single warmest year. Uh, carbon emissions are going to keep right on skyrocketing. Uh, and go they're going right on about their business uh, now you're not going to hear it reported methane methane emissions are going to hit a, a new high in, in history in human history more methane is going to be released onto this planet than ever has happened in history uh, what else? Uh, what other emissions? Yes, of, of course, you know, behind it all, uh, there will be uh, more uh, people on this planet uh, a year from now. How many more people? Well, we're talking, uh, what is it, a million people every four days? There's going to be another 90 million people. Uh, on this planet a year from now than there than there is today uh, as all of these morons talking about uh, how the population the of the myth of overpopulation as we add another 80 90 million mouths to feed on this uh, on this planet uh, I was just reading you know, a few days ago, 241,000 uh, people moving to Florida uh, this year, which is the same as last year. There will be another 250,000 people moving into Florida. Uh, just uh, it, it, as this unbelievable carnage unfolds here, the the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative uh, is, is going to be kicking into full uh, into full gear. Uh, it goes without saying that deforestation rates uh, deforestation rates are going to keep skyrocketing uh, all over this planet, mainly in the Amazon rainforest, but in every other rainforest. 
you're going to see more acres of tropical rainforest fall to the bulldozers going up in flames. Uh, you know, the, the never ending story of the wildfires we're going to see, uh, you know, it's just uh, the, the same old story in 2021. Uh, as millions and millions of acres of this planet uh, going up in flames in these uh, wildfires that, uh, you know, that nobody can uh, could even imagine uh, a few years ago. Uh, you're going to see more wildfires in California, Colorado, Siberia. It's just going to be the same uh, nauseating, uh, just relentless. It's going to be relentless, but you're, you're not going to hear about it because of the distraction. This is uh, just how these planet eaters, uh, all of these, every single problem, uh, you know, on, on this planet, every single environmental problem on this planet is, is going to continue unabated. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be, uh, completely uh, you, you know you're not going to hear about it in the mainstream media there's not going to be any room left over to hear about everything I'm talking about that doesn't mean for one minute that, that it's not happening every single uh, planetary boundary is going to get closer and closer to tipping. Uh, tipping points uh, are going to be reached. We're gonna we're gonna be tipping. Feedback loops are gonna be looping. Tipping points are gonna be tipping over. Environmental limits are gonna be hitting the wall. Uh, every single prediction made in the limits to growth uh, back in 1970 are, are going to be coming true in your face. Uh, let's see, uh, every single uh, ecosystem on the planet, you know, with the possible exception of deserts, with the possible exception of deserts, every single ecosystem uh, on this planet uh, is going to continue to go straight down the toilet in, in 2021. There are no bright spots no bright spots. It, there is nothing in the forecast for 2021 for optimism. It is, uh, you know, where the, 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 the war against this planet is escalating into overdrive. Uh, nothing is going to slow it down. It's only going to get faster and faster and faster. Uh, you know, the voices trying to point this out are, are going uh, to be whatever voices aren't being silenced by the distraction, uh, ignored and silenced and never heard. Uh, are, are, you know, more and more of these environmental activists are, are going to get killed in 2021. Uh, you, you try to go up against these planet eaters, you will be killed. You will see more environmental activists uh, being gunned down, uh, you know, trying to defend uh, their, their homes and their land bases. Uh, they're, they're, Carl, just don't forget the coral reefs. You know, we've talked about the tropical rainforest. Well, the 
uh, you know, the undersea version of the tropical rainforest, the coral reefs are going to continue to collapse. It's going to be this escalating collapse of the coral reefs. Uh, the Arctic uh, it has already tipped. Uh, I, I believe the, uh, the tropical rainforest uh, have already gone beyond their tipping points. The coral reefs are beyond uh, repair. The Arctic uh, is, is going to, uh, you know, the, the collapse of the Arctic is, is going to go, you know, into, in, into rocket mode. Uh, let's see, what other, what other predictions can I make? You, you know, guys, I, I mean, I can go on and on with this uh, there, there, there is no end this is an endless litany uh, of, of just it, it's a horror uh, again this is the single biggest story in the history of humanity the single biggest story in the history of humanity is going to continue unfolding at an escalating pace as 99.9% .9 of this planet are either entirely, either they're unaware of it or if you try to make them aware of it, uh, they have no interest in it uh, as the entire planet's focus is going to continue to be on the single biggest distraction they have ever come up with in the history of humanity to get our minds off the number one biggest story on the planet in the history of humanity and that is the escalating collapse of planet Earth which is in full overdrive uh, in full overdrive uh, in the opening bell of 2021 uh, and in one year from now my prediction is that every single indicator of environmental health on this planet is going to deteriorate this planet is going to be in much worse shape uh, on January 1st, 2022, uh, than it is in 2021. The, the outlook is, is beyond bleak. It's beyond black. Uh, this is an entirely hopeless, dreadful, horrific situation that we are looking at on this planet. Uh, it, it, on, on every single level, we are going down the toilet, we are going to hell in a handbasket. So those are my predictions for 2021. My advice for 2021, get out there and enjoy every moment that you still can. Uh, on this collapsing planet and get out there and enjoy any uh, any squeeze ray of sunshine squeeze every drop of lemonade you can out of the lemons uh, that humanity has given itself uh, because we're screwed and we're out of here that we just haven't left yet as one of my alert tribes members keeps repeating uh, anyway guys I hope you enjoyed my predictions for 2021 I will be back uh, with the state of the planet 2021 and when is that? Two or three weeks we'll be back with the state of the planet, which will uh, 
sound quite a bit like uh, like uh, the predictions so tune into that but right now I have to figure out where the hell I am uh, I think I might have just screwed up yep I just screwed up what a surprise let me go get back on course while I still can look at this crap guys look at it it never ends never ends bye guys